Ladies, how are you today? Ladies. Oh, Raider Kingpin killed. Ooh. Hmm. By Jason Ambrose. NCR officials reported that Zack has slain Sergio Booth, the Kingpin of Valle de Hierro, and an aspiring warlord. I did do that. Booth's death was a culmination of a dangerous operation outside NCR territory, as Captain Larry Skull, commander of the Boulder City Jail, said... This was a high-risk operation, so I sent in the very best. Ah. Despite a rampart of countless raiders and bloodthirsty miscreants, the gallant bounty hunters stormed the town and felled the devious booth. I did that. In recent months, Valle del Hierro burgeoned as a nest for the collective slime of the wastes. Raiders, slavers, outlaws, and other parasites flocked to the festering enclave in the sheep range. They were like flies to dog shit. Should have hanged them. That was a quote from an NCR ranger who decided to remain unnamed. The reunion was no accident. Sergio Booth masterfully engineered the town's growth, all while consolidating his power in the region's underworld. If not for the acts of Zack, Booth's nefarious ascent would have gone unchecked. <laughs> Citizens are relieved to hear about the news, aren't they, citizen? I hope that bounty hunter kills him all, goddammit! Raiders turned my dog into jerky! <laughs> Thank you, Joe Parmsley, Prospector. The collapse of that place capped off a broad decline in organized crime in the Mojave since Zack began making inroads against villainy. Against villainy! Sergio Booth had long marauded through vast territories between Nevada and the Great Plains and was reputed to be of relation to the shadowy mass murderer known as Marco, whose whereabouts are currently unknown. Ooh, that Marco! We can hope that Zack will continue this righteous crusade and root out the... Furtive evildoers lurking in our mists. Obituaries. Lieutenant John Ramsey, 29, died in service of his country at Valle de Hero, Nevada. It's good that they're writing positive articles about us from now on. You know, family slaughtered! Sources indicate Zack recently killed Red Kelly and the entirety of the Kelly family in a serpentine ambush near Spring Mountain Ranch State Park. The slain individuals include five unarmed adults, two infants, and a helpless puppy. What? What am I paying him 500 caps for? NCR officials declined to comment. And ostensibly, no charges will be filed against Zack, who has once again flouted justice with these monstrous acts. You know, I was just about to say I kind of liked it better when he was writing negative articles about me because it gave me something to be mad about. But now I'm just mad! The Kelly family had subsisted in the wilderness in recent months, forced out of their home by the avarice of politicians. Uh. Fearing for their lives, the Kelly family spent most of their existence underground, only venturing out to scavenge supplies and gather food. By all accounts, they were harmless. They never hurt nobody! Said Ga- <laughs> That's what Gary Strait the Prospector said. And the damn government just kept shitting all over them, just like the rest of us. Goddamn taxes and beer cuts him. Yeah, maybe Caesar should take over. And uh, that's what he said after falling into a ditch, being drunk. Also, I don't agree with freedom of the press, and I think that anyone who is a journalist should be crucified for their beliefs. Oh, thank God I'm not one of those. Anyway, <clears throat> suspected of committing misdemeanor robbery and vandalism, the Kelly family soon found themselves in the sights of Zack, who capitalized on the opportunity to supplant an ever-growing body count of innocence. That bounty hunter just stomped that baby to death and then fed it to coyotes. <laughs> thank you, Bart Thompson, who is a merchant. And it made me just want to vomit. Of course, I didn't say nothing, because Zack sh- would sure slit my throat if I did. He sure would. What a nefarious ne'er-do-well. The NCR has the blood of the Kelly family on its hands now, thanks to the ongoing support for misanthropic animals like Zack. Well, I'm misanthropic, but I'm not an animal. After due research, I unearthed a quote from a tribal chieftain of the old world, Thomas Roosevelt, who said, For a people who are free and who mean to remain so, a well-organized and well-armed lunatic fringed, enthroned on an invisible government owing no allegiance and acknowledging no responsibility to the people is required. We should bear this in mind when considering the actions of Zack. Oh, this stupid writer! <laughs> I guess he can't decide if he wants to be your friend or your enemy. Hmm. Well, I think that one was written before I had paid him off. We found one good article on you and one bad article. Mm-hmm. NCR targets the elderly! Oh, this is probably that family of incestuous nerds that I killed. (laughs) 
Sources indicate Zack recently killed the geriatric matriarch of the Burns family in a raid on the clan's private distillery. Can I just say that they used to just take people and put them on an iceberg and push them out to sea when they got too old. I think this is better. NCO officials declined to comment on the incident, deigning only to state that the Burns were suspected of running an illegal bootlegging operation and that Zack used reciprocal force. Given Zack's track record, this claim is specious at best. Joke's on you, I never played track! Saul Burns, husband of the murdered Elsa Burns, said, That pig didn't even give my darling a chance. He just up and killed her along with the rest of them. All this bloodshed is gonna come back and bite that bounty hunter in the ass. Mike my words. That's what he said, alright. NCR officials refused to comment on the Burns lawsuit against the state. This marks a new low for the NCR and its chief cutthroat Zack. Is the Republic so desperate that it must outsource the targeted killing of old ladies? I'm an old woman. Please kill me. I sincerely hope the Burns civil suit finds traction in court, and that the officials responsible are ultimately forced to answer for this gross malfeasance. Do I have to pay him at 500 caps for every story? <laughs> <laughs> Got a letter for you. Some secret squirrel shit. Mmm. What kind of letter? Dumbass, did you even find what that letter is about? Motherfucker, do I look like a secretary? Go find a robot if you want somebody to give you coffee and blowjobs. <laughs> Fucking attitude on you bounty hunters. Self-entitled cocksuckers, <laughs> all of you. Makes my ass want to dip snuff. Hey, Joaquin, shut up. Zack, I want to commend you for assisting the NCR as a bounty hunter. Many of the targets you dispatched and or captured were dangerous miscreants that had long eluded justice. I doubt that anyone will match your accomplishments as an agent of the criminal justice system. With that said, I want to inform you that a new opportunity exists, Ooh. both for personal profit and in assisting the Republic. Oh. You love the NCR. As it so happens, a high-profile prisoner is offering to divulge valuable intelligence, though she refuses to speak with anybody but you. Hmm. I urge you to meet with me post-haste so that we may discuss the details. You can find me at our safe house located beneath Bukhan's Odds and Ends, a general store near our sharecropper compound. Sincerely, Jay Wickham, your soon-to-be best friend. Oh, boy! Ah, if you're done hitting this building with a shovel, let's go in and see what's up. Hello, and welcome to Buchanan's Odds and Ends. We have a new Coca-Cola banner, and there over there is a globe. Don't know what a globe is? It's the thing you're standing on, genius. Complete with the stand. Huh? <laughs> well, my voice is pretty close. <laughs> what are you doing here? I don't hear nothing. I don't say nothing. Nothing. Got it? Cool. Can I see your wares? Yeah, yeah. Well, he has nothing. Cheapskate. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Later. What? <laughs> Later. Anyway, you didn't see this bunker here, right? Good. Yeah, fancy NCR underground bunker. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. All right, then. You're dressed pretty snazzy, aren't you? Honored to speak with you, sir. Is it? That is a lot of dynamite that you guys need to be keeping in something other than that. <laughs> It ought to saved when I came in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> they're they're escaping. Whoa! <laughs> See, and that's why you keep these secured. Hello, are you who I'm supposed to talk to? What is it? We're here to talk to you about the opportunity. Yes, I'm glad you made it. We've been keeping tabs on you, Courier. When a lone bounty hunter takes down Red Bear, Sergio, and Zimmer. Who? We notice. Weeb. Mm. <laughs> Whatever your political views, your actions have helped the Mojave and the Republic. In light of this, I believe we may have use for your talents. Isn't this agency about getting intelligence? Look man, I just kill people, I'm not a spy! My friend, spycraft and killing are not mutually exclusive. Far from it. We do both. Though, we are very focused. So you want us to kill people for money, right? Sounds like bounty hunting to me. The NCR isn't fighting a war against raiders or outlaws. We're fighting the Legion. That doesn't diminish what you've accomplished. Cleaning out Valle del Hierro was remarkable. But that's not what we do. We work in the shadows, dealing with frumentary, double agents, and traitors. 
We also conduct covert operations. We were on the verge of contacting you when something, or should I say someone, fell into our lap. This person has valuable information. Ooh. Some rangers caught her in a sting, and now she's offering intelligence on the Legion in exchange for immunity. How would she know anything about the Legion? Apparently this person has some history with you, as she refuses to divulge her secrets to anyone else. What? You must have made an impression. Who? So, here's my proposition. If the interrogation nets us intel used in an operation, I promise you the contract. Nonetheless, there's no turning back now. If you decline, we will never contact you again. It's up to you. Yeah, we can do it. No problem, I guess. Excellent. The prisoner's in the right holding cell. Do not touch her, whatever your past interactions. There is more at stake than you realize. Report back when you're done questioning her. I don't even know who you're talking about. It's good to have you on board, Courier. Uh, the pleasure is mine, depending on who you've captured. Hmm. Who the hell is this? Fancy seeing you here, Courier. I was quite looking forward to our next meeting. I hope you'll pardon my abrupt departure last time. Oh, I recognize you. Who is she? She was the person running the orphanage. Oh, we killed her. She must have faked her death and escaped. Look at you caged up like a dirty little black plague infested rat. Serves you right, you filthy skank. Come here to gloat, have you? Yes. Ever consider that you wouldn't be here if I hadn't asked for you by name? Bitch, we're gonna kill you twice! If you were going to kill me, you would have done it already. No, you're a clever sort. <laughs> You'll wait to hear what I have to say, won't you? What, what are you doing here? How did you get caught? Thanks to a touch of perfidy on the part of my Legion contact, I was ambushed by rangers. They even killed Zeke, the poor creature. Who is Zeke? <laughs> the super mutant. Oh, Zeke died slowly, didn't he? Do you need a new friend? He died with more dignity than you'll summon in a lifetime. <laughs> Speaking out when you have so little idea of what happened. Buffoon. Ooh, look at me. My name's Esther. I'm a dried up slut. <laughs> wow. I was double crossed by the Legion. So I'm willing to help the NCR, under certain provisions. I'm willing to expose one of the largest frumentarius rings in the Mojave. Mm -hmm. In exchange, I want immunity from prosecution, and 50,000 caps. <laughs> 50,000 caps? <laughs> I have every reason not to trust you, and this don't feel right. It's a matter of leverage, not trust, or feelings. Those frumentarii aren't just gathering information. They're sabotaging supply lines, organizing resistance, and sowing dissent. Trust is irrelevant. You have to decide what your priorities are, Courier. Oh, well, we already know what your priorities are. Always looking out for number one. How, wait, how do you know about the frumentari? I thought you were just a small-time slaver. Legion developed a labor shortage. So they're trading with slavers in the Mojave. They pay extra for NCR personnel and citizens. So we oblige. Thing is, my contact and I had a tumultuous relationship. He's the sort that believes a vagina disqualifies you from rational thought. <laughs> he tried to strong arm me into paying extra. So Zeke threatened to rip his legs off. <laughs> Apparently he resented my style of negotiation. At our next meeting, the contact was nowhere to be found. Instead, I was ambushed by a squad of rangers. I have no doubt he set me up. Yeah, how's it feel to get betrayed? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Why are we your intermediary? Why aren't you talking to the agency directly? I do want to know that. If I tell you how to hurt the Legion, you'll do it. If I left it up to the NCR, they'd foul it up in short order. Petty bureaucrats would wrap it up in red tape, leave it all in a dusty folder. Yeah, probably. But you, you'll go after them. Something about you, Courier. Thirst for blood. Hard to put my finger on it. Bloodlust. But you intrigue me. Stop it! 
I suppose, as a tinge of guilt from our last encounter. I hope you won't hold it against me. No, I do. A girl's got to eat. I do hold it against you, because you were selling children into slavery. I know you want to kill Esther, but I do love killing legionaries. Fine, I'll make sure the NCR meets your demands. What can you tell me about the Frumentari? I was in the practice of selling slaves to a Frumentarius in deep cover. He's a pimp in Freeside. Goes by the name of Papa Chapman. He's been in cover so long that he prefers a profligate lifestyle. He can't do without chems, booze, and girls. The Legion doesn't seem to mind, since Chapman keeps shipping slaves and intel back to them. He also has contact with at least two other Frumentarii. Stop putting two eyes at the end of it. Wouldn't you just say Frumentari? Isn't it like Moose? As much as I'd like to see him dead, Chapman will probably flip for the right offer. I don't think he's in a hurry to die, for Caesar or Lanius. If you press him, there's no telling what you might uncover. I hope this settles things between us, Courier. Good luck to you. Mm. Settles them for now. We may be back. So. What is it? That bitch divulged the identity of a frumentarius. Fru frumentari. She's asking for immunity and caps as compensation. Excellent. We'll certainly accommodate her. Mm. Um. If she's willing to give them up now, she might develop into a real asset. As for you, I think you'd be perfect to meet with this contact. If Esther's right, he could help us break open a major Legion operation. One thing, though. This isn't bounty hunting. Don't come back here with a bloody finger and tell me mission accomplished. We need intel. <laughs> oh. The priority is to flip this scumbag. What about a bloody head? Let him know it's the NCR or a hollow point in the brain. If he makes demands, try and work with him. If he plays along, we can feed misinformation to the Legion and also get a jump on the other from Terry. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you do it, just make it happen. Any questions? Actually, can we go back for a second? About Esther. Yeah, I really can't stomach the idea of her walking free. She turned our orphanage into a slave trading ring. It's a little personal. She sold children into slavery, Wickham. A deal's a deal, but perhaps we can come to an understanding. We've agreed to release Esther from custody with 10,000 caps in hand. What happens then is up to chance, so to speak. I'll tell you what. You follow through... And see this op to the finish, mm -hmm. and she's yours. <laughs> I'll let you know the time and place of her release so you can settle with her. Oh. Uh, we'll leave it at that until the mission's concluded. She walks out with 10,000 caps. We immediately gun her down and take those 10,000 caps. 10,000 caps. <laughs> we'll be rich. It's not, <laughs> not really the caps we need. We just got a bunch of Legion gold. And I'll be reaping the benefits. What kind of author am I authorized to grant Chapman? If you're a strong negotiator, you shouldn't offer anything. However, if he's still got any legion left in him, intimidation might not be enough. Officially, don't compromise the interests of the NCR or its citizens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unofficially, if this piece of shit gives up an entire frumentarius ring, we'll set him up for life. Okie dokie. Honestly, I don't care about the details. Here's your first payment. Good luck, career. Woo! We got caps up front! Hey, how's it going, old man? You didn't see nothing. Bye! He knows that's there. <laughs> I'm gonna break this window. It's made of concrete. You can't break it. I'm gonna break this window. Glass concrete. I'm gonna break this door. Oh, there's a door over here. <laughs> Papa Pete's house of love, baby. Hey, Mr. Papa Pete, we are in your house. We're here to talk, unless you're not, uh, hmm. Uh, hi there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> My name's Zach. What's yours? <laughs> hey, sugar. Do you bring that strap on? <laughs> um. Whoa, who the fuck is you? You're Papa Chapman, right? Well, my good sir, we have some business to discuss. Does it involve prostitutes? Who knows? I only do two types of business. Kims and pussy. Which is you here for? <laughs> more important, who the fuck is you? Papa don't like to repeat himself. The more direct method. I can appreciate that. Oh, we need to discuss your relationship with the Legion. I don't know shit about no legion, except they like to fuck each other in the ass. But I ain't judging if that's your thing. I can have the girls toss you a salad for a discount. Shit, I'll call it Caesar's salad. <laughs> that's the only Caesar I know. If you want to talk pussy or dope, come on up. Otherwise, I'll ask you to walk your ass the fuck out of here. 
Uh, this might involve your business, so sure, let's let's talk. What are you doing with this butt? You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. The ball is the least weird thing on that bed. What the gnome? What are you doing with a gnome? That's a sex act. What about the fireman's hat? Some people like to role play as firemen, Zach. I guess I can I can understand that. I didn't is really that a that. harmonica? Okay, that's weird. Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. Where is it? Lucky harmonica. Oh, you don't feel quite so lucky anymore because oh. you put down a lucky harmonica. Shit. Well, I'm going to take that back then. Never mind. I was going to leave this harmonica for you, but I want to feel lucky. It's the only thing that gives him luck in this life. Oh, hey, baby. You suddenly got way more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, player? Esther gave you up, baby. CNCR shell grave. Your choice. Esther, that two-faced cunt. Rangers were supposed to kill her. God damn, I ain't got any luck. Whoa! I might as well go crawl in a shallow grave. Never should have worked with that hussy. I'm a dead man either way. I'm fucked. No, 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 no. You would be fucked, but I'm willing to give you an offer to join the NCR. Ain't this some shit? Motherfuckers expect me to turn on a legion? Them assholes will hunt you down anywhere, bitch. But if Vest is flipped, I'm compromised. Lanius will want my head on a platter. Why'd I get involved with that she bitch? Fuck me. Listen, I'll do this, but I got some terms. First, I want protection. No rangers or bounty hunters run up on my shit, you hear? All right. Things stay as they were, except I feed bad info to the Legion, and good intel to NCR. I keep pimping and slinging, and nobody fucks with me. Next, I want caps up front every time I pass intel. You do that, and I'm your man. Anything else will cost you extra. This, these terms seem quite fair. Okay, I think we can probably arrange that. What do you know about the Frumentari? I. They keep a man at the Crimsons named Blunt. He's a simplified motherfucker. Always serious about this shit. He don't play either. He might act like a dumb citizen, but he's a hard son of a bitch. You best believe it. That cat will fuck you up over a dirty look. Papa might be willing to tell you more. If y'all's willing to be generous. Eh, uh, we could. We could. Tell me everything you know or I'll turn your face into a prophylactic. That's the thing that goes on penises. Oh, fuck. Yeah, here, everything I know, right in this list. Take it. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Whoa. Come on! Watch out! <sighs> Yay! Oh, that fails the quest? Yes. Bullshit! Don't look at me like that, Doc Friday. I know we have to go back in time now.